Attention, attention, attention everybody, especially you behind the monitors. Today I will show you one really great technique how you can remove people from your photos automatically in Photoshop. So, let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another fun episode. Last week I was traveling to Portugal, Lisbon, great country and I was visiting a lot of beautiful locations and of course I had a camera with me and I like to take uh, several different shots as a background for my future composites and I need those shots to be empty without the people but unfortunately there are a lot of tourists there a lot of people there all the time so I cannot take my shot completely empty but fortunately I already knew about this technique that I will show you today and I could prepare my photos for future retouching in Photoshop for Photoshop to automatically remove all those people from the photos. But there is one catch, you need to have a tripod or you need to place a camera somewhere steady because you want to take a bunch of photos of the same place uh, while people are moving from one spot to another spot because at the end you want to end up with a lot of photos that has uh, combined together has all the spots on the image empty and Photoshop will combine everything uh, automatically for you and remove all the guys from the photo. So let me show you how you can do that in Photoshop. Alright guys, as you can see, I have several different photos of the same location, same spot, from same angle and I will now combine all of them to remove all those people to have an empty uh, scene here. So to do that, you just need to go to Photoshop, go to File, Scripts and Statistic. Then here you want to use Files then go to browse and choose that files, choose all those photos that you took from that location, press OK and choose the stack mode median. You can choose any other stack mode here, it will give you completely different results, sometimes really crazy effects, sometimes really nice effect. You can play with that if you're curious what other modes are doing to your photos, but for person removing, for people removing, you want to choose a median and you can check this attempt to automatically align source images if you're not sure that your tripod and camera was uh, completely steady and just press OK and wait for a few moments for Photoshop to calculate everything and to merge all photos into one final image. Right guys and here is the result as you can see we have completely empty scene except if we zoom here except those guys right here because no matter how long I was waiting for those guys to leave there are always somebody in front of that door so I need to deal with that I need to retouch that later or just fill it with a black color and that will be okay or if I put some person in the front uh, here if I use this as a background for my composite those doors will not be visible anyway right now let me show you a few things that you can do with this empty image as you can see right here we have a smart uh, icon for smart objects and you can double click on that and Photoshop will open that stack of layers in a new document and then you can see of which photos this effect is made of and for example if you go to previous documents you can see the sky is completely clear the Photoshop decided to use this photo as a sky for a sky and I don't like that I like to choose other photo for the sky where there are more clouds for example this one and I will just copy this photo and paste it right here and then just use the lasso tool and select the upper part of the image like this maybe this part too and this part too and just use the layer mask and that's it I again just change the sky everything is in the same place because I was using a tripod and we are done I can choose a new layer here use a brush black color and just paint right here where those guys are and now I have completely empty scene I can now merge everything together with shift Control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac and that's it I'm ready to use this photo for my future composites of course now I can color correct it or do whatever I want with this Alright guys that's it for today I really hope that you like this episode and that you like this trick how you can remove all the people from the photos basically automatically only one thing that you need to remember is to have a tripod or to place a camera somewhere where it will be steady and to use some kind of virus trigger or some kind of uh, cable trigger for your camera because each time when you press a shutter button on your camera you will slightly move uh, camera uh, just a little bit but enough that you will later have some problems in Photoshop. So a lot of today's cameras has a wireless connection with your mobile phone app so you can use that or you can even do that with your mobile phone just do 
use tripod like this, this small tripod and put your phone into this tripod and use your headphones. You can use your headphones as a wireless, as a cable trigger and just take a bunch of photos with your mobile phone later, put it in your computer, Photoshop and do this automatic removal process and you will have completely empty scene that was otherwise really hectic. Right guys, if you have any questions regarding to this episode, leave them in the comments below. I will be more than glad to answer them. And if you want to support me on this channel to make it even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and of course you will get some things in return. Have fun, experiment and see you guys in the next fun episode. Bye bye. Love me, me, me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. And I forgot to turn on this lights, but now it's too late. See you guys.